Hello, I'm Keisha Fondu. And I'm Aubrey Sefernick. Welcome to the first broadcast of RBTV. In the following weeks and months, we hope to bring you interesting, informing, and exciting broadcasts. So if you have any ideas or suggestions for us, let us know. There will be a box to put your thoughts in, in the AC and the main office. And now to our program. This week, of course, was Latino Week, during which some events took place that dealt with the study of Latin American culture. Here is Tony Smith with a summary of the past week's happenings regarding Latino Week. Tony? Latino Week was a very educational week for Rainier Beach High School. It made students more aware of the culture of Latin America, our differences and similarities with it. On Monday during second period, a panel of discussions was held with members of RB faculty that are of Latin American background. On Tuesday, speaker Jamie Gallardo presented a workshop, which you are looking at right now, called Breaking Down the Barriers, and it was held in the career center. Here's Miss Lindemann telling us more about the taquito sale on Wednesday. Everybody, a club Latina, La Raza Latina. We're selling taquitos for the um, La Raza Latina, our club. And this is in, in um, celebration of Latin American Cultural Week. And finally yesterday, Professor Laura Flores gave a speech called Gain of Latinos. All in all, Latino Week has gained much praise for helping people become more understanding of each other. Back to you, ladies. And also in the cafeteria during sixth period, Proyecto Saber from Chief Sale High School will perform a cultural presentation. Another upcoming event is next week, Winterfest, a multicultural celebration of winter holidays and traditions. If you'd like to help plan the Hanukkah party, meet December 6th in room 263. We'll be back with the latest RB in RB Sports, but first, here's a message from Rainier Beach's new music director, Mr. Smith who is currently trying to revive our school's music program. You know, 15 years ago, this room was filled with kids playing music. But for the last 12 years, Rainier Beach has hardly had any music room at all. And that's really sad, because this room is empty, too much. So we need to have everybody in the school involved in music in some way or another. So if you're not involved now, you need to get involved right away. Join the band, join the choir. Next year, join the orchestra. Learn how to play a percussion instrument. Come and talk to me. I want people in music. Come and play in the band. Now we would like to present Rainer Beach's first ever sports telecast, which will be presented by our very own Darren Winston. Hi, I'm Darren Winston, your sportscaster for RBTV. RB Winter Sports have gotten off to a dynamic start this year. RB's boys varsity basketball team seems like it'll go far this particular year. And here is David Wu with a report on the team's activities this past week. On Saturday, November the 27th, a men's varsity basketball jamboree was held here in our very own gym. Also there were teams from Garfield, Tai and Renton. RB won the 10 minute quarters that they played with Tai and Renton, but the wins don't count in their record, of course. But they still were impressive enough to make good plays. Like this one turned in by Joel Fromm. <laughs> the first regular season game for Rainier Beach's men's varsity basketball team was held at Tai High School in SeaTac. RB fought its way to win the game by a score of 78 to 51, despite the fact that they were missing three key players. Here are some comments that were made by Joel Fromm and RB coaches after their electrifying win. Well, for the first game, you know, it was a little, a lot of turnovers, but um, as a team, you know, you have to expect that we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get past it. We'll get the turnovers will go down, and we'll play better. Well, I think we played well though as a team, so. We'll see. Do you think your team has a chance to uh, make it to state this year? Oh yeah, definitely. We just have to play together. I mean, we have a lot of great players on our team. It's just how we play together or if we do that or not. So. We're missing three guys and it's the first game of the year, so not too bad for the first game actually, but we'll get better. Well, you know, um, I just felt the fellas went out and they worked hard and they picked it up. Uh, we were missing, like I said, some key guys, but the fellas picked it up. It took us a while to get going, but not bad for the first game out. This is 
is David Wu for RBTV Sports. Back to you, Darren. Thanks, Dave. Did you know the OB Boys varsity basketball team is not even ranked in the top 10 according to the Seattle Times Class A double preseason poll? In the basketball poll, three Metro teams are ranked in the top 10. First is Garfield, fifth is Joe Day, who won it last year, and eighth is Eastside Catholic. The girls' basketball team have started the season and are looking promising this year, and I think they will do well. Here is Brian Stewart with the football awards. Brian? Hi, I'm Brian Stewart. Now to football. The All-Metro teams were announced on Wednesday. Offensive guard Dennis Agassid was named to the first team, and, uh, and running back and defensive back Ricky Jenkins was voted to first team for both offense and defense. Defensive lineman Ronnie Abram made first team, and wide receiver Norman Taylor made second team. And last but not least, congratulations to Rainier Beach football team coach Mark Haley for being named coach of the year. He led the Vikes to the state playoffs for the first time since 1989. The swim team is off, also off to a great start. Come support them at the RB pool this evening against Ballard at 3.30. And the wrestling team first meet is at December 7th at RB against Cleveland, Chief Self, and Lakeside at 6.30. There will be a special winter sports assembly that will also be, on, also be held on Friday, December 10th. So be sure to show up and support the school and the sports program. Now back to you. Thank you, Brian and Darren, for sports. And everyone, don't forget to support the basketball teams. Today the girls are playing at 6.45 and the boys at 7.30, both against Bellevue at Bellevue. Now, it's time to reserve your yearbooks. Yearbooks will be ordered only for people who sign up. So don't miss out. Go to room 104 and sign up today. This year, the class of 1995 has been very busy. We started off the year with our junior potluck. With a successful raffle, we raised just under $200. Continuing with success, the juniors did a Husky Stadium cleanup, which was not the most of fun, but a good fundraiser. The class of 1995 will continue to raise money through a series of candy sales and car washes. Today we start the world's finest chocolate sale, and next Friday, December 10, we will be in charge of Grove Tolo Concession. Also coming up, the Drama Club will be performing The Outsiders in the Little Theater, December 11th and 12th. It'll be a great show, so don't miss it. Now we have a message from the Beach Hut, our student store. Well, this is the Beach Hut, and in the Beach Hut we sell foam fingers, which are nice for at the game. You put your hands through them at the basketball game, basketball season. Hey, these are three dollars, I think, and fifty cents. And we sell. We're now selling pop tarts in the morning, or if you like them at lunch, as you please. And these are fifty cents a piece. We have our boxer shorts which have the Rainier Beach Vikings on them. We have white ones that say Go Vikings, and they cost $3. And we have black ones with orange on them. They say Vikings, Rainier Beach, and they also cost $3. Um, our real good thing we have now is our Viking t-shirts. They're really filthy. Right here it says Them Vikings and Them Vikings and RB. And on the back it says the Vikings have has landed. Those are real good item. Also, we have these Hershey Kisses that are only 10 cents, licorice, which are only 5 cents a piece, and we have keychains, which are $3. Um, we sell cookies, and you see our popcorn machine over here. We sell popcorn. Oh, is all the popcorn gone? Oh, he just has leftover bag. But, um, yeah, we have bubble gum. Look down in the showcase down there. We have bubble gum and... License plates and lifesavers and beanies. beanies and scarves. And it's really cold outside, so everybody get your beanies and your scarves and your license plates because those are really cool. And we'll be getting more stuff, but for now, this is what we have. And everybody needs to just come on in and buy what you can and support your school. This goes towards ASV, so just support your school. Well, that wraps it up for RBTV's first broadcast. Watch for our future broadcast. We will fe feature questions of the week, telephone contests, and editorials. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>